Hi everybody, welcome to Inclement Dab's most excellent DAISY editor mod for DAISY and in this quick video I wanted to show you how to get the DAISY editor, wor editor working, how to put things on the map um, and manipulate them simply and then how to export those items so that you can um, know what their positions are which you can then use you know as init.c's or if you're a console modder so that you can get the x y and z coordinates and also pitch roll and yaw for when you're doing some fancy things so as with most things um daisy when it comes to modding it all starts in the steam store fire up steam go to the community workshop search for the daisy workshop Search for Daisy Editor within that and you want to subscribe to the Daisy Editor and you want to subscribe to CF and Builder items. They're the minimum things you need to get working. And then Dab gives you some um, recommendations of other things to load up as well. And then fire up the Daisy Launcher and you can probably just about see this but what you do is you go into Mods and you want to have a tick to the mods for CF, Builder items and Daisy Editor. You don't need to try and um, join a server. A local server or a mo or, or anything at all um, daisy editor launches a daisy in offline mode so all you do is you tick those and you hit play and you'll be in the editor now to manipulate your view to start off with you're probably controlling your view with the mouse like this um, and then to move around you've got wasd and then you've got q to go up z to go down and if you hold down the shift key you'll go a bit faster like so this is the main way that I use it and then when you want your cursor back you hit the space bar and now we've got the space bar so now we can manipulate the, the UI um, if you hit M you get the map up and then if you left click you can drag around the map your mouse wheel zooms in and out and then normally <laughs> what should happen is that if you press your middle um, mouse button it should move the camera there um, there we go so there's Adam Franco so if we press M again oh, we've gone underneath the map which is a bit uh, inconvenient let's get back above the map now the daisy editor can be a little bit um, buggy so be prepared for having to restart it every now and again um, maybe it's just my experience with it but actually this is where I want to be right. so press M there we go let's come down and as you can see what we've got here is I'm kind of building a little bit of a story on the north east airfield we've got some C-130s lined up we've got some tents um, so how do you how do you put items on the map well um, hit spacebar so you've got control of your mouse and then over here on the left these are all the items that you can spawn in so just search for something so um, ATC here we go land mill ATC let's say we wanted to put an air tra a traffic control tower at the northeast airfield so we can just drag that across and we probably want to have the ground mode on so that it sticks to the ground and let's get in a little bit closer so you can kind of see it right, that's not quite on the ground is it so what we could do now is just back off a bit Um, the, the purple square that's kind of the anchor so you left click and hold and that's how you can then move the object around um, if you want to adjust the angle of the object you press and press and hold the left left click on the purple square and then press and hold shift on your keyboard and then we can move it around and then if you press alt that moves it up and down so Let's try, let's try the magnet one. There we go. Right, that should be on the ground now. Slightly not, isn't it? Let's see if we can. That would be the ground there, wouldn't it? Okay. There we go. It's sticking to the ground now. Okay, so there's a military tower. I can we probably want to move it back a little bit. And we want to change the angle of it slightly. 
Ooh, how about that? Say something like that. And let's say, what else do we want? Um, I don't know. Let's put a let's put a tent on the field as well. So a military tent. Let's put a tent down there. <laughs> Shift to spin it around. There we go. And again, Alt to make it go up and down. Let's get a bit closer. So we can just let's put it on the ground. Is that on the ground? Let's have a look. Not quite on the ground yet, are we? Let's have a look at that now. Yeah, we're still slightly off the ground, aren't we? Let's see if we double click that. Let's turn that off. down now. Alright, there we go. So we had a little bit of a bug going around there, so I just had to move the tent around a bit, and now now we're back on the ground. So it play, I'm no expert with the editor, but that's kind of how you manipulate things and how you add them. However, what you really want to know is the coordinates of these things and how to export them. So all you do is if you go File, Export, we can see we've got the... We've got... Whoop, file export so as you can see we can export in various formats so export to init.c export to dot map terrain builder vpp com events map group pros if you've done a little bit of daisy editing on pc you'll be familiar with export to init.c so this is where you export something um and within the init.c file that's where you put the details for the object and so if we were to export to init.c that would give us the um the format that we need to then add that to our init.c file for our server so it would then spawn the items in where we want to um, which would be familiar however as a console modder often you want um you want locate you want angles and you want coordinates and what i found is actually map group pos is actually a really good one so if we export to map group pos and then we give say um, let's call this uh, northeast airfield test like that um, we will export everything um, that is a good that is a good format to export in now the next question is then well where is it <laughs> how do you find it because this can actually be quite tricky so what we do is if we go to um, this is this is the uh, folder where um, the trader sorry this is where the editor saves all its stuff see this one here editor and it's in this PC uh, your local disk uh, users your username app data local and DayZ all right so it's a bit complicated so let, let me kind of show you how we kind of find that so if you go to your file Explorer um, and then click on your local disk and then you go to um, users and then you go to it will say your name there I mean mine is just scale so it's scale and then we go down there and we, and we come down to um, app data local and then if we scroll down we should say Daisy and editor there it is so we go into there and our one was called um, what was it called North SDE field at the areas NEAF test and then if we edit that with notepad plus plus you can see here we've got the names of all the items we wanted and you've got the X Y and Z um, coordinates um, so we've got um, uh, 
uh, so X is 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 uh, across is, is east to west, I think, isn't it? Um, Z is vertical. Sorry, Y is vertical, and Z is north to south. So the normal ones you are interested in is that one, and that one. And then we have got if we need it altitude. Now, when you're spawning in things on, on console and you're using like a custom event to spawn the items in. Um, you don't really need altitude because it will just put stuff on the, the map automatically but for certain other things you do need the altitude say you were putting items in custom locations in, inside buildings and things and then what we've also got is uh, the uh, RPY which is the angle as well which is uh, which is important and that sometimes gets missed off some of the other stuff um, when you look at those um, now all the other types of files would be there as well. So if we to go to editor, um, if you've exported it as an init.c um, or um, any uh, you know dot map or whatever or dot dze, these the, these formats are all there. So you can look at them um, and then you can add them to your existing ones. In fact, let's see if I've got one here. Um, There we go. So that that's like an, a, a chunk from an .c, isn't it? Created object, spawn object, hatchback. So you know it's kind of giving you the the format that you need to insert it into your particular Daisy server, or as I say, it's giving you the coordinates of the items that you want, so you know exactly where to use a custom event to spawn them in, or some other method if you're doing that on console. Right. So there we go. Hopefully that's useful. Um, there's lots of other information out there as well um, there is a kind of a little bit of a wiki as well for the daisy editor as well I will put a link to that below the video as well so you can um, go over there and have a look at some of the more um, dedicated to in instructions that go into a little bit more depth about the editor but it's a really cool piece of work looking forward to it as it as it expands and Inclement Dab and his team have done an amazing job Speaking of jobs, if you thought that was a good video, hit like if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. If you've got any more questions, put them in the um, put them in the comment section below the video, and I will see you again soon.